Hello, what's up? Gilly Ebony Zandrov here, and today we're gonna talk about... That's a clickbait title. How to make 100 awesome images using just one HDRI. And that is our result. Just by looking at those images, you can see how many different results we can achieve using just one image, one environment map. And usually when we talk about lighting, we talk about how it can reveal the form. And we often forget to mention that uh, lighting allows us to look beyond the form if we are dealing with the reflective objects. And I find it so exciting that you can show the whole scene and the whole world in our reflection. So let's start with a reflective sphere and create an environment texture. I prefer to use a high dynamic range images, but but it can be a low dynamic range image, uh, just make sure that it's spherical panorama. And here I want to recommend uh, hdrlabs.com website. It contains so many different HDRIs and all of them are free. These guys do brilliant HDRIs. So add a mapping node. And on top of that, as usual, add a texture coordinate node. We are doing it to be able to control the rotation and the position of our HDRI. And you know what? Uh, let's add a curves node to control the color of our HDRI. But before we change our color, I want to show you something very exciting. See? When we select all nodes and press R two times, we can just... Oh, sorry. Here I'm gonna just swap the nodes because I made a mistake. Curves adjustment should be placed after the environment texture. All right, now we should have a basic setup. And let's move on to rotating our HDRI to get the 100 or 1000 if you're a very patient person. Results. First, let's try rotating on a Z axis. But usually very interesting things happen when you rotate by Y or X axis. Look, we have already got a totally different kind of an image. And after getting some interesting result, I'd suggest you to tweak the look uh, in the color management tab to enhance the impression, you know, and just continue searching for a different angles. For example, we have just achieved the rim light effect. And it's insane how you can squeeze so many different lighting setups from just one HDRI. It looks almost like you're doing nothing and getting something. And if we add to that a curves adjustment, the number of possible variation just get insane. Oh, and you can tweak a location and the scale too. So I hope this little trick will help you to achieve awesome images by using an HDRI lighting and its variations. And actually, feel free to show them to me and we'll discuss it. And it was a Gleb Alexandrov. Feel free to use a hashtag AskGleb on Twitter to ask your questions and I will answer them in a podcast. Thank you so much, guys and girls, for watching it. Use a hashtag AskGleb. Goodbye.